In this video, I'm going to cover what is an IMEI number, also known as a device ID. Why should you store it? Why you should keep it private? And what can the device ID be used for? So what is an IMEI number? IMEI stands for International Mobile Equipment Identity. Every mobile device has a unique 15-digit number that is globally unique and referred to as the device ID or IMEI ID. And if the mobile device has two SIM slots, then the device will have two device IDs. An IMEI number is hard-coded in the device, making it impossible to overwrite. So many claim, but there are some tools which also claim to be able to flash the IMEI number and change it. As these tools are illegal and expensive, they are not available for a quick and easy download, and this makes it difficult to determine if there is truth in this. There are also a few secure phones on the market that enable changing the IMEI as a feature, but this is very rare. So how does the network use the IMEI number? The IMEI identifies the device type, but also confirms the model, release year, make, and other device specifications. The carrier network will use the IMEI number to approve the device and connections permissions. And this is how they know if your device is compatible with their network or if it's locked to a specific carrier or if the phone has been blacklisted for some reason. Do you need to store the IMEI number of your mobile device? The answer is yes. You want to store the device number in a safe place that is secure. If the device is stolen or lost and you never expect to get the device back, then you will want the IMEI number to report to the police. The police report is used for insurance purposes if you have insurance that covers that kind of loss. If you're lucky enough to get cooperative police, the police can request the carrier to track the device via a warrant or judicial requirement, but this might require you to educate them on their powers and hope they are engaged enough to care. My experience is that they have no idea what to do in the case of a stolen phone other than help you fill out paperwork. You can also report your device as stolen to your carrier and request them to report it as stolen. They will add the device ID to a global database so the carriers around the world will no longer accept this device ID to connect to their network. This means you will never be able to track your device and you just have to accept that it's gone. Some professionals and cybersecurity experts use IMEI hack software or IMEI mobile phone tracker tools to find the real-time locations of missing or stolen devices. But this also means there are going to be nefarious experts who are willing to accept money to do the same illegally. One thing to note, if you buy a used or refurbished phone, buy it from a reputable vendor. Make sure the vendor has good reviews or that they are an established business. If someone is selling you an iPhone out of their trunk for a great price, then it's possible the phone is stolen and blacklisted already. As soon as you get a device in your hands that's new to you and it's used, run it through a phone check service such as MobiCheck, M-O-B-I-C-H-E-C-K, to find the history of the phone, including if it's been reported lost or stolen and if it's been blacklisted or blocked already. If you do have a blacklisted phone and you're not the original owner, then the carrier is going to make it very difficult to verify you and allow that on their network. And if this is the case, then you can use a third-party provider where they charge you a fee, and they will attempt to look at the history, see if they can verify you, and convince a carrier to unlock your phone and take you off of this database. Is it okay to share my IMEI number? The device ID number should not be shared publicly because this is deemed as private information. You never want to share your device ID number unless you absolutely have to because someone could decide to harass you by reporting your device is stolen, forcing you to deal with getting it unlocked. Is it possible for somebody to track your location using the IMEI number of your device? The answer is yes, it is possible for hackers to track you with your IMEI number. It can be done in ethical ways where law enforcement agencies track people using the device number with the help of telecom operators. That means there are also hackers who are willing to do the same thing for money. The IMEI device ID also identifies the phone brand, model, and specifications. Hackers could use this information to impersonate you with the carrier to execute a SIM swap or try and get a new phone on your mobile plan. The typical call center employee is going to verify the hacker if they are quoting the exact model of your device and if they've done their homework on your personal information. What can a hacker not do with a device ID? A hacker cannot connect to your phone or have the slightest bit of access to it. A hacker cannot get your calls or SMS on another device. 
a hacker cannot control your phone or any apps installed. Now, depending on how that hacker got your device ID, for example, if you volunteered it to them, they may have no other information about you. But if a hacker was able to get your IMEI number through digital means, through digital hacking, then odds are they may have gotten a hold of your IMSI number, which is the identifying number of your SIM card or your eSIM. And this allows that hacker to do another list of hacks to do nefarious things to you. If you found this video helpful or educational, then please like and subscribe to get updates on new videos about mobile security tips and tricks, hacker news, as well as updates on the Afadi product line to keep you safe and secure. Thank you.